23 i have this beauty here that's in bloom again i've showed you this recently it's my sherry baby i hope i'm on focus and you were being able to see me and the plant because i'm filming alone anyway and of blab the video is not about that but i said since i'm here recording why not to show you some beautiful blooms and because it's the last video of 2023, I want to really thank you for being here with me, to hang with me during this year, and to watch my videos, to support my channel, to send me nice messages. It's amazing to get to know some of you and to be in touch with such a wonderful community. You guys are really, really lovely, and it's been such a journey thank you very very much so the video today it's one of the short videos about some of the most common questions that i found online and i'm answering them so it's not a long video the long videos will restart as soon as i come back from brazil i hope you enjoy this new sort of quite of let's say shorter version <laughs> I know that's not ideal, but I couldn't report many of my orchids or film for a long time and edit before going away. So, today is the last video that I record for you, but not the last one that you will watch. It's to say Happy New Year. And the question that I have here today is, is our orchids good for our mental health? I am not a specialist, I'm no psychologist, so honestly, talking I'm not an specialist in mental health what I can tell you is orchids are plants are beings and hobbies can help us with our mental health I deal with mental health issues do you I've never talked about that before because it's a very personal thing but I have depression and I hope I openly talk about it because I don't have issues talking openly about it I don't know if that makes any sense I know that there are so many, so many misconceptions about mental health out there. So I think it's important for us to tackle it. I can be here smiling. Sometimes I struggle a little bit more. Other days I'm better. I treat it. You should treat as well or look for an specialist. If you notice something is wrong with you, you know, if you struggle with anxiety, if you're having insomnia, if you're having bad thoughts, if you're having swings in mood always good to have someone to talk to but the video is not about that it's just answering i think every time that we look after something and we have a hobby that we appreciate and that's good for us it helps with our mental health when i go to the gym it helps with my mental health if i go out with my friends definitely helps definitely there are times where you're feeling worst so it won't cure you <laughs> In the sense that I, I, it's not a medication, or it's difficult to talk about that. It's not a medication, it's not a therapist, but it's definitely part of the healing process, I think, if it is something that you enjoy. If it's becoming a burden, if it's just adding more pressure to the things that you are living at the moment, so then it's not helping, then I would say no. So that's not good for your mental health. So it's basically about finding the right balance, understanding what you're feeling, how you're feeling something, and what's helping it and what's not helping. It's personal. Some people will adore spending. These are so heavy, let me put these down. Bye bye to this beauty. So for some people, it will be amazing to look after your plants, your orchids, understanding how they work. It helped me a lot during the pandemic. For people that suffered with mental health, it was really difficult because you struggled not knowing what would happen. Some people developed mental health issues with super normal and you are not alone if that's the case. And you are not alone if you need any help. So go and look for it. I don't know if where you live you have helplines or you have, you have health service around you but it affected most of us. For people that struggle with mental health, maybe a little bit more. The plants helped me a lot. I spent a long time researching, learning more and more about them and connects me to where I'm from as well. I come from a nice place in Brazil with Atlantic forest around me. So nature was always very 
present in my life in the sense of that I had all the tropical forest in my natural habitat. I grew up in a very small village with that. So it remembers, it reminds me of where I'm from. So for my mental health, it's really, really good. And I think it helps many people like pets, you know, or embroidery art, music. There are so many things out there that you can do. And plants is one of them looking after your orchids as well. However, as I said before, if you're struggling with it, so no. So I don't have exactly an exact answer for you. So I want to bring this video now that is almost 2024. It's a hopeful moment. It's the moment that we, most of us at least, feels like that our lives will be a little bit different or something nice will happen. So I want to answer this question and I know that mental health is a difficult thing for us to talk about but I'm here to tell you that talk about it. If you cannot talk about it with everyone, look for the right people to open up. I can help. If you need to look for help, if the plants helps you to feel better about yourself, go and look after your orchids, have fun enjoying your flowers. And put that on your wish list for 2024, spending more time doing the things that you will enjoy, that will make your life more fulfilled. That's what I wish for everyone, is to find your inner peace, to find the things that makes you feel good about yourself and about others around you. And with that, I wanna say thank you again for hanging here with me on this channel. And I hope we we'll stay together in 2024. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.